I'm Molly Bloom. Do you know about me? I read your indictment after I got your call last night, and I bought your book. Do you understand that you are charged with operating an illegal gambling business? I fell in love with this movie about an hour after I met Molly Bloom for the first time. Sadly, I judged her before I met her. I saw pictures of her online, and I thought I had an idea of who she was, and then I met her, and I went, huh. Movie stars, athletes, billionaires, that's just the tip of the iceberg. It's about poker. The rules of poker are, you know, you and I are gonna lay out these cards and we're gonna practically lie to each other to some degree. And there's real interesting duality to that, you know, when you think about Molly Bloom and you think about Molly Bloom's situation as a woman and the facade that she put on and beat the hell out of it to some degree and then was beating the hell out of it. Firing I'm not firing you, I'm just gonna stop paying you. You get paid once a week from the game, it doesn't seem fair. You're gonna stop paying me because I'm making too much money doing my second job and if I say no, I'll lose both jobs because it doesn't seem fair. I knew that she was a movie hero uh, uh, because of this great sense of integrity and character. Complete immunity. We hand over the hard drives. You've seen what's on those hard drives. Families, lives, careers will be ruined. I think she was forced to kind of become this stereotype uh, in order to try to find some type of success in that industry. You managed to build a multi-million dollar business using not much more than your wits. I'm about to be charged in federal court. Well, nobody's perfect. The emotion that I was feeling when I thought about what this story could possibly be was going to get tamped down, ignored, or destroyed. In poker terms, I went all in.